Are you musically oriented and interested in a health profession? Our next career uses music therapy interventions to help people that have a variety of disabilities. For example, it can help with pain relief, enhance memory, and promote overall wellness. Ryan Tonkin is a music therapist at UF Health Cancer Center Orlando Health. He showed Alexa how he works with patients as part of their hospital treatment. So today we're here with Ryan Tonkin and he's a music therapist. So what exactly is it you do as a music therapist? So as a music therapist, um, I receive referrals and consults from nurses and doctors mm -hmm. and I use specific music interventions to go and address non-musical goals with patients. Do you play any instruments? I do. Uh, primarily at work, I use guitar and piano. Um, it's hard to lug around a full-size piano uh, in patients' rooms, so guitar is a little more user-friendly. But uh, I also play saxophone and drums and bass guitar. What kind of methods or techniques do you use? It presents in a variety of ways. It could be uh, live music, it could be playing an instrument, it could be talking about uh, some music, it could be writing music together, um, it could just be me in the room being a, a warm body with them and, and listening to what they have to say. So has music been a part of your life for a long time? It sure has, yeah. Uh, I think I started taking lessons when I was about five years old on piano and have not stopped since. Wow, that's awesome. So when did medicine become involved with that? So the history of music therapy, um, music has been used since the times of antiquity and probably before that, uh, biblical times, David played his harp for the king and it, um, it said it cured his melancholy. More recent times, music has been used um, on the, the battlefield, World War I and II. Nurses who just happened to play music uh, would, uh, would play live music for patients and they realized, hey, there's some benefit here. Uh, now with the research that has come out and medical technology, we can see in, in live time and we can perform uh, good research studies to uh, find the efficacy of specific music interventions uh, for uh, a variety of healthcare populations. Talk to me about the educational process. So with music therapy, you have to go to a uh, music therapy accredited school. I believe there's a little over 70 right now of them in the nation and you go to school for either four years, six years, or eight years. So bachelor's through uh, PhD. You do a 1,200 hour clinical internship. Then you sit for the board certification exam. After that, you become a board certified music therapist and that allows you to practice music therapy. What do you find the most rewarding about being a music therapist? For me, the most rewarding thing is the, the time. Time is very precious, especially working with people who are sick and possibly dying and something that is not lost on me is just the fact that they're willing to sit down and, and listen to me and I can listen to them and uh, it's a very meaningful thing. What do you think is the most valuable characteristic someone should have if they want to pursue this? I think you need to be empathic, you need to be mindful, um, being good at music is essential as well um, and just uh, yeah I think I'm, I'm, uh, compassionate and, and empathic. Talk to me about your typical day-to-day typical day starts out with uh, coming in and checking our electronic medical records and seeing uh, what consults I have from uh, physicians and nurses. Uh, after that, I make out a work list of the patients. Uh, I, prior I prioritize them as um, just uh, according to uh, the needs that they have and that will determine the order that I see them in. Uh, after that, I, um, I will assess them, do an assessment face-to-face -face with them, again, to uh, determine what uh, goals and then what interventions that I'll be using to address those goals. Uh, after that, I will perform the goals or I, you know, I will implement these, um, these uh, techniques. And after that, I come back to my office and then I have to uh, document on them on the electronic medical record system that we have here. So what's the biggest challenge that you face daily? I think the biggest challenge for me personally is the, the emotional side of things. Um, I see a wide variety of people, um, anywhere from a, a new diagnosis of cancer to uh, end of life care. And uh, that can be very taxing and it's important to uh, be able to uh, be mindful of, of the way that you're feeling about things and to have a good support system uh, for myself so that I can then uh, in turn take care of patients better. So Ryan, what advice do you have for somebody who might be interested in becoming a music therapist? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, my advice would be to uh, start early with your uh, musical training. Uh, every music therapist has to learn to play the guitar and piano in addition to uh, being able to sing. You don't have to be great at it, but um, it helps if you are proficient at these instruments. Uh, also, music therapists get formal training, training in psychology and uh, medicine. Uh, so again, those uh, taking some classes, maybe some AP classes or just some normal classes offered uh, would definitely give you uh, an advantage. Awesome, Ryan, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Music therapists can be found in all sorts of settings, such as medical and psychiatric hospitals, mental health facilities, rehab centers, and nursing homes, to name a few. Music therapy has been shown to be helpful in physical rehabilitation, coping with medical treatment, and providing emotional support for clients and their families. For people who have trouble communicating with words, music therapy can help with expressing thoughts and feelings. We have a link to the American Music Therapy Association where you can find out more about this rewarding career along with schools offering music therapy. Just click on the link on today's episode synopsis at rl101.com. Getting ready to take the college entrance exams? You might want to be prepared and we can lead you in the right direction. If you go to our website under college info, you'll see info on the SAT and ACT test prep. You can get updated information on test centers, register for tests, and maybe most importantly, get some practice taking one or two. After all, this is an exam you want to do your best on as it can make a difference on whether you get into the college of your choice. So get started by going on rl101.com.